Hi, it's Teresa from Dodge Nature Center, and time for another Nature to Go. Hear that music? Yeah, we all know what that's telling us. It's time for the Olympics. Every four years, athletes from around the world gather to see who is the strongest, the fastest, the most skilled. And that got me wondering, who's the strongest, the fastest, the most skilled in the animal world? And that's what we're going to look at this week on Nature to Go with an episode called Animal Olympics. The Olympic motto translates to faster, higher, stronger. So let's start with looking at who's the fastest animal on the planet. Well, they're not exactly on the planet, but peregrine falcons win for the fastest animal. When they're hunting and they go after prey, their dives allow them to reach speeds of up to 240 miles an hour. Very impressive. Now, if you're on land, the fastest land animal would be a cheetah. Think of cheetahs as sprinters. They're really fast, but over short distances, like maybe 69 miles an hour, but only for 100 meters or so. The fastest ever recorded was a cheetah that was at a zoo in Cincinnati, and she was able to do 100 meters in 5.95 seconds. Compare that to Usain Bolt, who did 100 meters in 9.58 seconds, about 23 miles an hour. Impressive, but not cheetah impressive. Next up, the animals that have gone the highest, and those would be the birds. Now, back in 1951, when Edmund Hillary was climbing Everest, he said that he saw geese flying over Everest. And we know that geese can go really high. Bar-headed geese can fly at altitudes of 29,500 feet because they're able to change the temperature of their blood and it helps them conserve energy. But the bird that has the gold medal for being the highest are Ruppel's griffin vultures that have been spotted at 37,000 feet above sea level. And they're able to do this because they're able to absorb oxygen in a way when they're in a low air pressure environment that helps them survive. These are found in Central Africa. That brings us to our third category, the strongest animals. Now, strong can be defined in a couple of different ways. And we're gonna look at how strong an animal is compared to its body size. Surprisingly, the winner is something fairly small, a dung beetle. Dung beetles are small, you know, a couple of inches at the biggest, but they are able to carry and move 1,100 times their weight. That would be like a human being able to pull six double-decker buses. Our next category is not an official Olympic category, doesn't match with the motto, but it's the largest animal. And the largest animal we have on Earth are blue whales. Blue whales are roughly about 100 feet long. Some can be a little longer, some can be a little shorter. They weigh approximately 199 tons, which would be like about 40 elephants. They have a height of 13 to 16 feet, and in that body space, they have a heart that weighs about 400 pounds, or about the weight of a piano. They also have a huge tongue. It weighs as much as an elephant. Their eyes are surprisingly small compared to their overall body size but their mouth is big enough to hold a hundred people. I mean, we're talking huge. So what's the largest animal we've got in Minnesota? If we're talking mammals, that would be the moose. They weigh between 950 and 1,000 pounds. The males carrying that big rack of antlers, those antlers can be five feet across and just the antlers alone can weigh 40 pounds. Their body is nine to 10 feet long, and at their shoulder, they can be up to six feet tall. It's a pretty big animal. But we have some other record size animals too, like what's our biggest snake in Minnesota? Well, that would be a bull snake. They can be around five feet long, although the record size one was over eight feet long. And then, you know, we're a state that likes to fish. So what's the record size fish that has found, been found in Minnesota? Back in 2019, an ice fisherman 
caught a 78 inch long sturgeon that weighed 120 pounds. What an amazing sized fish. So there you have it, some of our planet's amazing animal champions and some even close here to home in Minnesota. Thanks for joining me for this episode of Nature to Go and we'll talk to you again next time.